Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is Storytelling with Amy Shannon. And the next story that I um, want to talk about is called Shattered Pages. It's a book that I had written several years ago, and it kind of has an interesting start. My oldest son, um, Darius, um, gave me a name of, gave me a title called Shattered Pages, and said, Mom, can you write a book about it? if I just give you this title. So it had sat around for a while, but then as I thought more and more and I would write other stories and then I would come back to it and stare at the title, I thought this would be best um, as kind of a story about a writer, a very eccentric writer. And his name is Link McLaren, well, it's, um, Lincoln McLaren. Um, and he has a pen name called Tristan Wyatt. And he is considered the eccentric, creepy guy um, by his neighbors um, because Link, um, he's had some problems and like, as I said, he's eccentric um, with a little bit of crazy and he, part of his just daily life, he likes to walk around his house naked, he likes to wear two different colored socks, um, he likes to especially type naked, he thinks that his most creativity is when he doesn't have any clothes that hold him back. Um, he has a caregiver who kind of runs the household and makes sure that he stays on task and does what he's supposed to do. And her name is Sally. And he has a new assistant named Owen. Owen um, is one of many assistants that had come before him. Um, but Link hopes that this young man is the one that will stay around. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. As the um, story unfolds, it kind of gives a, a picture of what Link's life is about, a little bit of the insight into his past, and also his relationship between Sally and Owen and a local police officer named Charlie. Um, Charlie, um, she's a female police officer that um, has feelings for Link, and he has feelings for her, but he hasn't quite admitted them yet. Um, once those baseline stories come across, um, Link is a best-selling mystery writer, um, and he writes primarily about murders and serial killers and that have unique um, MOs uh, or modus operandi and signatures. Um, and Link does his research and he is currently writing um, his third book in a series where he's supposed to expose the serial killer. Um, but something is up um, and a new serial killer um, arrives, well, is in town and he starts using Link's previous published books and the current book that he is writing as kind of a map for um, murder. Um, and one thing they have to figure out is how this guy, this serial killer, knows what hasn't even been published yet and only Link knows the story. So Link becomes a person of interest and the local police detective, James Callahan, is set to question Link and kind of get a handle on Link. So I'm going to read an excerpt from the book Shattered Pages um, and kind of give you an insight into that interrogation. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Callahan, that's James Callahan, Detective James Callahan, watched as um, Charlie left the room and he unbuttoned his suit jacket and sat down at the table. He opened his leather binder and pulled it, his pen out of his jacket pocket. Oh, Mr. Wyatt, he said. Mr. McLaren, Link said, Wyatt is my pen name. I apologize, Callahan said. Mc Mr. McLaren, let me just read you your Miranda warning now. He took a card out of his pocket of his binder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you. You also have the right to end questioning at any time. Do you understand these rights and do you wish to continue? Yes, I will answer your questions, but I'm going to say it one more time for the record. I did not kill that woman. All right, we can wait for your lawyer if you want, he said. No, I waive my right for now, but I reserve the right to change my mind later. 
Of course, he said. Now, where were you three nights ago? What day was that? It was Sunday, don't you know? Sally keeps track of the days for me. Oh, so all days are the same? Never. One day can never be the same as the previous day. There is always at least one little difference. I guess that's true. So how, are your da how do your days vary? I do pretty much the same thing. I just eat different meals depending on what day. It was a Sunday? Yes, Sunday night, he said. Oh, I am in my room by 8 p.m. Can anyone vouch for you? Sally watches me go to my room. Owen leaves the house by 7 p.m. He lives in the guest house. So no one can see you after 8? Sally has her own room, and I'm not sure when she goes to bed. What do you do in your room? Read until 10, and then I watch the news and go to sleep around midnight. I am up by 5 a.m. Every day, give or take a few minutes, if you left your room, I have no reason to leave my room. Don't you use the bathroom? I have one attached to my room, he said. There are seven rooms on the second floor, and each one has its own bathroom. I have no reason to leave my room once I am in bed. Sometimes I call Sally to bring me a snack or a cup of tea before bed, but that is all. I don't leave. Did Sally bring you a snack that night? I don't remember, he said. It was Sunday. Hmm, I don't know. Why do you think this is me? I told you, the same M.O., he said. I don't have, I have no motive for killing anyone, he said. When we were at your house, I noticed a tattoo on your bicep. What about it? What does Purdy mean? She's my wife, Link said. You're married? Yes, Link said as he showed his wedding ring, his wedding band by holding up his left hand. Where's your wife? Dead, he said. Died over ten years ago. Why? You said you were married, Callahan said. I did, Link said. My wife, though she has passed on, is still with me. I understand and I am sorry for your loss. I am not crazy. I know that people think I am, but I'm not. I am just forgetful and I get lost sometimes. I do not kill. I write. All right, he said. Link looked at Callahan. Signature. Red scarfs around the wrist. How did you think to look up my book? I read the one before your latest, you know, Eyes Mind. I thought it was interesting. As soon as Cries of a River came out, I wanted to read it, so I did. I finished it before my wife got a hold of the copy. He said, My wife Doris, she loves your work. And then you saw the red scarf. She was hanging upside down from the white birch tree, tied to a branch, red scarf tied around the wrist, wearing a blue dress. Upside down, Link said. The legs were in the sleeves of the dress. Yes, Callahan said. The last victim in I's mind was a young librarian, he sighed. Charlie, I mean Officer Ramsey, told me about Leanna. But your books do say who the killer is, he said. That's the point of a, of a series. There, there's supposed to be three in the series. I am writing the last one of this currently. Not all deaths were committed by the apprentice. I have not even figured out who the killer is. Someone is using your books to commit murder, he said. I have no idea, he said. I wish I could help, but I don't know what else to say. I can confirm with your housekeeper if you were in your, your room, Callahan said. McLaren, you are an interesting man. That's what Owen says all of the time. So if you want to kind of get started on this book, it's Shattered Pages, and it is available on my Amazon page um, in paperback or Kindle form. And I hope you enjoy this little excerpt of Shattered Pages. Um, Lincoln uh, McLaren is a very interesting character, and he was very fun to write for. And I hope the story gives you a little bit of intrigue and great insight into the life of a very eccentric writer. And no, I did not base him off myself. Um, so I hope to see you um, listening again. And... Have fun telling stories.